how many people it takes to replace one John Marlowe. <laughs> Richard Marlowe, otherwise known as Ricardo Marlowe by my flamenco colleagues and friends. I'm the son of John Marlowe, the classical guitarist. And the very first clip you saw of was me performing uh, when I was 18. I just turned 18 in 1993 with Charlie Bird and the Washington Guitar Quintet. That was part of a tribute concert that was held in memory of my father who had passed away about six months before, organized by his friends. And that event was actually the uh, beginning of the Marlowe Guitar Series that has gone strong now for 25 years. Uh, that piece was called Django, and my father had recorded that with Charlie Bird and the Washington Yard Quintet on a CD just a year before, and they invited me to join them on stage for the finale of the concert. The second clip, as you can see, I'm a flamenco guitarist professional now, 20-some years later, and I'm very proud to... Uh, announced that I'll be giving a concert as the kickoff for the 25th anniversary of the Marlowe series on Saturday, October 20th at 8 p.m. at the Cultural Arts Center of Montgomery College. Um, some people ask about my my relationship with my father and how I got into guitar and flamenco specifically. Um, I can say there was one major parallel between our, our two lives, and that was that my father studied with Andre Segovia in Spain in the 60s in Santiago de Compostela. And myself, I went to Spain to study flamenco guitar, which is very different, but still, I studied with a great master named Gerardo Nunez in the late 90s in San Lucar de Barameda. So, the concert's October 20th, 8 p.m., and uh, I hope to see you guys there. I will be doing some solo flamenco guitar, my own compositions, and I'll be joined by some of the greatest flamenco artists in this area that I love very much. So I hope to see you there. Mm -hmm. 